So today we are factoring quadratics and we're going to use an area model in order to factor it. Okay. Now before we do that, let me show you how the area model works. So in my example, I'm giving you uh, the quadratic already in factored form. And the way the area model works is we think of the area of a rectangle as length times width. And that's what factored form has. It has two things being multiplied together. So we treat one of the things, 2x plus 5, as the length. So this is 2x plus another 5. And the width is the other thing in parentheses. So this is x minus 4. All right. So the area of this rectangle is 2x, minus, uh, 2x plus 5, which is the length, times x minus 4, which is the width. All right, so just like that. And to expand this out and get it into an, a standard form expression, what we're going to do is just find the area of each of these boxes. So this box here is 2x times x, which is 2x squared. This box here is 5 times x, so this is 5x. Down here, this length is 2x and this length is negative 4, so 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. And then for this box right here, we've got 5 times negative 4, which is negative 20. And whenever you do this, you're always going to notice a very similar pattern here. You're going to have your x squared term here, you're going to have your regular number term here, and then these two boxes are going to be your x terms. So, to get this in standard form, you would take the x squared term, add your like terms, because you have two x terms, so add those, we get negative 3x, and then your constant term, or your regular number. And there you go, 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Now the reason why I showed you this in reverse is to make sure you understand where all this is coming from, because here's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to start with the standard form, and we're going to use this area model to figure out what the factored form of the equation is. And we're going to be working backwards, but we really have to understand how that area model works first. Okay? So let's do an example here. We've got 4x squared plus 8x plus 3. We want to get this into factored form, just like this. Okay? And we're going to use the area model to do that. So first thing we're going to do is start putting all of these terms into the boxes. And like I said before, the x squared terms goes right here. And the constant term, or the regular number, goes right here. And then the other two boxes are the x term broken up into two pieces. All right, So these two boxes right here should add up to 8x. Now the question is, how do I break up this 8x so I know what goes where? Well, there's a little trick to that. All right, And here's the trick to it. What we do is take this number and this number and multiply them together. All right, so we get 4 times 3 is 12. What we want to do is find two numbers that multiply to get 12, but they add to get 8. All right, so two numbers that multiply to get 12, but add to get 8. And if you think about it for a little while, you know it's got to be 6 and 2, because 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 plus 2 is 8. All right? So we're going to break this 8x up into 6x and 2x. And it doesn't matter which one goes where. Okay, because either way you place it, it's still going to work. But notice, 6x plus 2x equals 8x, but 6 times 2 is going to get me 12. That's important, because now that we filled out this area model, now we just need to figure out what these numbers up here are so I can get our equation in factored form. So to do that, what we need to do is find the greatest common factor. So let's look in this, common, uh, this column here. We've got 4x squared and 6x. What's our greatest common factor? In other words, what's the biggest number that goes into 4 and 6? Well, 2 goes into 4 and 6. And what's the biggest number that goes into x squared and x? Well, x goes into both of them. So our greatest common factor here is 2x. Okay. Now, let's go over on the side. 
if this box is supposed to multiply, the sides are supposed to multiply to get 4x squared, what does this side have to be so that 2x times the side would equal 4x squared? Well, 2x times 2x gets me 4x squared. So I've just found the lengths of the sides of that box. Similarly, down below, 2x times what gets me 6x? Oh, 2x times 3 gets me 6x. There we go. Okay, so we've got that part done. Now let's look over here. What does this length have to be so that something times 2x equals 2x? Well, 1 times 2x gets me 2x. So we've just figured out that length. And then for the bottom, this is the way to check to make sure our numbers work. Does 1 times 3 get me the box? 1 times 3 is 3, and that's exactly what's there. All right. Now, the reason why we need those numbers is because those are factored form. All right. Remember what we said. The area of the box is length times width. So our length is 2x plus 1. Our width is 2x plus 3. This is our factored form. So this quadratic can be factored as that. OK? I'll do another one. All right, this one's a little bit harder. We've got a negative in there, but we're going to follow the same process. OK? So let's go through it. First off, we take our x squared term, we put it right there. Next, we put our constant term, that positive 5, right there. And we're going to break up the x term into two parts. But how are we going to break it up? Well, we're going to do a little bit of work. So remember, we're going to take this number next to x squared and the constant term, multiply them together. I get 40. So what I want are two numbers that multiply to get 40, but add to get negative 22. This one's a little bit trickier. But if you start listing your factors of 40, you'll realize that negative 20 times negative 2 equals positive 40. And negative 20 plus negative 2 equals negative 22, which is what we want. So we just found the numbers we're going to use negative 20 and negative 2. So we're going to break up negative 22x as negative 20x and negative 2x. All right? So, so far, so good. Now, to get our factor form, we need to know the side lengths. So let's figure out the greatest common factors. So for this column, we've got 8x squared and negative 2x. What's the greatest common factor of 8 and negative 2? Well, 2 goes into both of them. And then x squared and x, what's the biggest number that goes into both? Well, x goes into both of them. So 2x is our greatest common factor of this column. Now, let's figure out what the other side is. Because if this box has an area of 8x squared, 2x times what gets me 8x squared? Well, 2x times 4x gets me 8x squared. Similarly, down here. 2x times what gets you negative 2x? 2x times negative 1 gets me negative 2x. OK, now for this other side, 4x times what equals negative 20x? 4x times negative 5 equals negative 20x. All right, and of course, that last box, we're just going to check to make sure it works. Negative 5 and negative 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, which is exactly what's in there. All right, so we're almost done. To, to write the expression in factored form, we just look at length times width. Here we go. 2x minus 5 is one side of the rectangle times 4x minus 1 is the other side. This is our factored form. OK? So notice it's a little bit tricky factoring these quadratics. Anytime you have a number in front of x squared, it makes it a little bit harder. But hopefully this area model is a good way to visually keep track of all the numbers and try to remember what you're doing. OK? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.